If you're new to solar, you might be confused about the difference between watts and watt hours. Today I have a quick demonstration to show you the difference. The first thing you need to know about solar, watts versus watt hours. This is a watt hour. Watt hours are the energy that make your appliances and electronic devices work. Watt hours can come from the electrical grid, batteries, or from the sun and captured by solar panels. Watt hours are what the power company charges you for. It's probably in kilowatt hours on your bill, which means thousands of watt hours. High power appliances like this heat gun use watt hours fast, and low power electronic devices use watt hours slow. The speed you transfer watt hours from one place to another is called watts. Transferring watt hours slowly is low watts, and transferring watt hours faster is high watts. The rate watt hours are transferred is called watts, not watts per second or watts per day or watts per hour, it's just watts. This is a meter that can measure watts and watt hours. You can use these to measure how many watts your appliances and devices are using at the moment, and you can use it to see how many kilowatt hours your appliances and devices use over the course of a day or week. In the description for this video, I put some links that you can click on to see some meters like this if you wanna check them out. Now for the best part, watt hours aren't just a name. Watt hours are actually watts times hours, which is the math you use to choose the parts for your solar system. Solar panel watts times hours tells you how many watt hours of energy your panels produce. For example, a solar panel producing 100 watts for five hours would transfer 500 watt hours of energy to the batteries and loads. Just a heads up, solar panel watts depend on how much light they get. In low light, they may transfer watt hours at a much slower rate. Battery charging watts times hours tells you how many watt hours of energy were put into your battery. Battery discharge watts times hours tells you how many watt hours of energy were drained from your battery. If your battery doesn't have watt hours written on the label, you can calculate how many watt hours of energy it can hold by multiplying battery voltage by battery amp hours. People think amp hours are how much a battery holds. It's actually the watt hours. You have to multiply the voltage by the amp hours. These are both 100 amp hour batteries, but at different voltages and look at the difference. Appliance watts times hours tells you how many watt hours the appliance has used. For example, an appliance using energy at a rate of 500 watts for two hours would use 1000 watt hours or one kilowatt hour. Another note, all the parts of the system have watt limits that affect how fast watt hours can be transferred. So make sure all the parts can pass watt hours at the rate you need. If you wanna see more solar videos like this, comment what you wanna see and then like and subscribe to motivate us. Thanks for watching.